So I think there are three things about the Filipino economy, if I completely zoom out, that make it quite quite special. I think one is the um, the the preponderance of family-owned businesses. And I think it's a huge strength because I think that family-owned businesses can take a much longer-term view on the investments they make. And I think if the Philippines were to develop a longer-term strategy on where it wants to play, compared to many other economies, I think the ability to actually deliver on that strategy would be high. And we've seen that, for example, in how we got the BPO sector going all those years ago. A little bit of focus and we got a lot of investments in there uh, from the businesses. I think the second thing that I've always found very quirky about the Philippines economy is just the strength of the consumer. Uh, I mean, it's a well-known fact that 70% of the GDP uh, is, is driven by consumption. But beyond that, Filipino consumers are very, very innovative. They're happy to try new things. Uh, I think the exposure to the global economy makes them quite cutting edge uh, in their tastes and preferences. And so I do think it provides consumer companies specifically. And I think within consumer companies, food companies, as we've seen, uh, an edge. I think food companies that do well in the Philippines can do well anywhere in the world. The third thing I would say that I think is distinctive about the Philippines is just the concentration of the economy in one city. 60-70% uh, of our GDP is in one city. And I think that allows us to experiment a lot faster. Uh, because if you introduce a new product, you can reach a large share of the, of the spend quite quickly. Uh, and you can do many things faster than maybe in, in other countries. I think there are three things that maybe the Philippines should focus on. One, one thing I do feel starkly in the Philippines is our banking infrastructure needs to accelerate. And when I say banking infrastructure, I mean the ability to do instantaneous payments. Uh, the ability to, uh, to tag customers to formal IDs, the ability to have common KYCs across financial institutions. I think making that happen will allow much greater access to credit uh, and take out a lot of the transaction costs of the economy. So that's the first thing I would say. The second thing I think would be important for the Philippines is to develop a consolidated national economic development plan. And by that I mean answering questions like which sectors do we believe this country can be can be globally competitive in uh, for each of those sectors you know which parts of the country do we want, do we want to grow those sectors in i think regionalization is a great idea uh, especially if we can figure out we've got we've got a lot of large islands that today are possibly not being put to the best economic use so can we actually make an economic development plan aligned with our strengths aligned with these geographies to give our industry, our, our, uh, our talent, uh, some visibility into where we want to go the next 20 years. I think that will drive much more purposeful investments. And the third thing I would say uh, is probably formalization and skill development of our, of our labor base. Uh, I do think that we run the risk of falling behind on adoption of technology, uh, on skilling, because such a large part of the base is actually in the informal se sector where maybe they're not getting enough access to, to training and development. So I do think that skilling is, uh, is one of those things that tends to fall in the area of community action. I do think that uh, defining a little bit, again, you know, in the sectors that, that are important to us, be it agriculture, be it elements of uh, manufacturing, frankly, we have large service industries. We've got retail, we've got, uh, we've got banking. Defining what are some of the skills we actually will need to build on. Um, and then setting up vocational universities. You know, in some countries in the world, the government is actually subsidizing the delivery of education through vocational universities. So having that dialogue and saying, you know, what, what is it we want to develop and how, how do we accelerate that, I think will be, will be important. Uh, I think to some extent, labor reform uh, will possibly also be important. I think there are three trends at this point uh, that are possibly, I would say, the Philippines should, should look closely at. One is obviously the trend of technology. Everyone's talking about automation, everyone's talking about data, and how we're going to use technology is going to be critical. Um, how, you know, how do we use technology in speeding up infrastructure rollouts and bringing down the cost of infrastructure? How do we use technology in bringing down transaction costs and friction costs in the economy? The second thing I would say is, uh, thinking about how we build out the consumer slash food sector in a more purposeful way. You know, I think the consumer sector in Asia is growing as urbanization 
uh, accelerates uh, as incomes go up, there's just much more consumption. Thinking through how do we as a country take advantage of, of consumerization in the neighborhood and more, and, and more globally, I think is an important thing to do. And I think that will then help us figure out what kinds of agriculture do we want to promote, what kinds of supply chains do we need, what kinds of free trade agreements do we need. I think it will help us inform some of those things. The third thing is maybe a more immediate thought, but as you know, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing globalization as we've known it being disrupted in quite a significant way over the last couple of years. And I do think that thinking through, you know, what is the Philippines position? Uh, what could be the Philippines role in a disrupted global supply chain where everything is possibly not coming from only one or two countries? but you know, coming from a broader set of countries where maybe more stuff is moving near shore rather than, uh, than far shore and thinking through where do we want to play in that game.